<clears throat> so for my class project, I um, well, my goal was to um, ask uh, a bunch of my my friends who are already married or in serious relationships um, to ask my uncles, my dad, my grandparents, members of my ward, uh, basically just a bunch of men that are important in my life that are married. Uh, I asked them uh, the importance of marriage to them and what are their tips. And I feel like I came up with this idea before uh, we, we dive right into the topic in class. So I learned a lot about this topic, uh, not only just from class, not only just from my um, my little survey I did for my project, but I uh, honestly received a lot of revelation and a lot of information uh, because of this little project I was able to do. And everybody is different, so all my responses were uh, different, very unique. Everybody had their own way of finding their, their wives, their spouses, their eternal companions. But a few things that I noticed that were the same across the board um, was something very interesting to me. Um, I feel like society and the world and maybe even Satan is involved in this. They, they all try to convince us that we should <clears throat> just try and marry someone who's good looking, who's just perfect, who has money, I guess. Just a lot of uh, material things, which can be tempting. And I feel like all of us uh, can fall for that sometimes. But what I noticed um, from the responses from my friends and family was that you need to look for someone who will bring you to the next level. And what that means, my, my mission president and his wife, I think they said it best how, uh, well, you just need to marry up. <laughs> um, it might sound a little bad for, for your spouse, but honestly, if you think about it, both people in a relationship have um, their pros and cons and they can both help each other uh, grow together and uh, I remember from my um, from my mission there was a, a little devotional we did with all the missionaries that were going home um, my mission president he kind of just had like a, an hour-long Q&A at the end of it and a lot of it had to do with post-mission stuff and so and one of those questions was the how should I prepare myself for marriage? How should I find my spouse uh, material, which was what my project was on. So I, I copy pasted a lot of that. And honestly, it was good stuff. My mission president, he's, he's young. So he's still <laughs> recently, uh, it's still fresh in his mind, everything he did to find his wife. And he and his wife shared a story about how they both were helping each other um, grow and, and get closer to Christ and heavenly father. And, I feel like that's probably the top thing that you really need to look for in a spouse is, does this person really want to help you uh, come closer to Heavenly Father? And uh, even though like all the other responses from, from the people in my survey were, were different, this is probably the, the most reoccurring uh, response. And a few other responses that weren't as reoccurring, but some of my favorites were, uh, look for someone who can make you happy, who can make you laugh. And for me, I consider myself kind of a, a weird guy. I, I'm i kind of goofy. And honestly, that one really, really connected with me <laughs> because that's, that's something that's really important to me as well. So honestly, that's probably one of the most important things to me that I, and also something that I just learned from this project is because life isn't easy and it's going to be tough. So if you have someone who has Christ in the center of their life, who's helping you focus on Christ and at the same time can make you happy and laugh, I feel like life's just going to be awesome because you're just going to be enjoying it and you're just going to be happy laughing, not maybe all the time, but a lot more of the time. <clears throat> Whoa. Um, as compared to if you marry a rock who, you know, isn't as funny, but you know, everybody's important. So, um, but those were some of the, the two things that probably stood out to me uh, the most for my project and my little survey I did. And I can just testify that uh, Heavenly Father does love us and he loves families and that he's created families so that they can last. And if we're able to use um, the correct tools and the resources that he's blessed us with, we can be able to have that eternal family and that eternal fa uh, happiness. And I share this project and this little message with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.